Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and welcome to another video in the series where I'm showing you a comparison between Apple's iPad Air and the Microsoft Surface 2. Now in this particular video, I'm gonna concentrate on the YouTube applications. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because I'm a YouTube creator. So apart from creating videos, I watch a lot of YouTube videos too, as does the rest of the world. So on the iPad Air, we have actually got an official YouTube video. On the Surface 2, we haven't got an official video, but I have got an app here called MetroTube, which I've downloaded from the App Store, and I'm gonna be using that for this particular demonstration. Now on both platforms, there are other YouTube apps. So on the App Store, on the iPad Air, you can choose different applications as well. On the Surface 2, there are some alternatives to the MetroTube one that I've downloaded. So let's have a look at the iPad Air first of all, and this is the official YouTube application. Now, when I launch the application, you can see here we've got sort of two panels that are divided into this top section here and also the bottom section. The top section refers to my account, so I can tap on the top here and the drop down comes down and I can actually capture a video using another application, of course. I can also look at my uploads, my purchases, my watch later, favorites, playlists, history, and also some settings. I can tap that again to shrink that particular one down. Now in the bottom section of the panel here, we've got access to my subscriptions. I've got what to watch, which will give me some suggestions for videos to watch. Then we've also got my subscriptions. So these are just channels that I've subscribed to and I can flick through my subscriptions and I can flick through and select specific channels as well. So let's go on to Chris Perillo. Let's choose a Chris Perillo video and we can tap here and set it playing. We get some more video suggestions here. And let me just turn that volume down. So we've got suggestions for videos on the right hand panel here. We've also got comments just underneath and also a little box where we can add a comment as well. And then we've got details about the video underneath. And then we've got a like button just here and then we can obviously zoom this up to full screen on that little icon there. So a very, very easy application to actually handle. We can also shrink this down to the bottom right hand corner, continue browsing for another video. Maybe we wanna pop back into my subscriptions and choose another one there. And when we have finished watching, we can flick that off to the side. So a nice application, what you would expect from the official YouTube app. So now let's move across to the Surface 2. And this is the modern user interface that Microsoft presents us with. And the icon here, this is really nice. We've got the MetroTube uh, icon here and it gives us some live feedback. So we've got some little tiles coming up for particular videos. Really, really nice, I like that because it might tempt me to go into the application and watch a video when I'd never intended doing so. So I do like the live updates. Tap on the icon and it launches the MetroTube application. Now on the side here, we've got sort of some recent videos pulled in from my subscriptions. That's really nice. It gives us a, an overview of what's available if we go further into that section. If we move to the right, we've got watch later, favorites, uploads, and recently played. Recently played is the same as history, of course. And then we've got popular videos on YouTube. And then moving across, we've got some categories that we can choose from auto and vehicles, comedy, entertainment, gaming. It's a shame, but unless we tap on all categories, we can't see the science and technology uh, particular category until we go further into that menu. That's a shame. And then over here, we've got some tabs that I added. You can see the little plus symbol in the corner here. So I can add extra categories. So I've added the science and technology category here. So it shows me this in this column. And then here, it shows me a search I did for Apple videos. That's really nice, I do like that. I like that a lot and it's a shame that you can't sort of customize this experience a little bit more than you, uh, than you can on this one. So let's move back across and we're going to my subscriptions. And again, a very similar sort of interface to what we've got here. At the top, we've got things that relate to my particular account. So we've got search, watch later, favorites, uploads, recently paid, and then we've got my subscriptions part down here. When I'm on this particular tab, it shows me all of the videos in my subscriptions. 
And when I scroll further down, I can pick a particular channel. And then I've also got categories underneath. And if I scroll all the way down, science and technology, which is where I publish to, you can select that within this uh, scrollable panel. And then when we go into an actual video, let's go into one of my videos here. We've got my unboxing and first look of the Sony RX100 Mark II. We've got a very similar layout to what we had on here. Let's just uh, set another video playing. Let's go to this one. We'll actually pause it so it doesn't distract us, but a very similar set out. So video in the top corner, details about the video underneath, an option to add uh, comments as well. We can actually tap here to show the description and then we can scroll down and get the full description then comments underneath. So instead of comments being here, it's just sort of underneath the video. And then we've got some related videos here and then we can tap on channel and it just so shows videos from the channel you're watching. So really, really nice actually, the way you can just select that particular person's channel videos. And then we can subscribe to the channel here as well. We can subscribe up here if we want to. On this one here, big playback button. And once the video is playing, we tap again and then we can expand it to full screen view. Now in both you get a slider control where we can skip across the various aspects in the video. So for example, in this one, we could skip across to midway into the video and see the camera get unboxed. And again, we can shrink this back down to small size and then we can go back to the original interface for selecting another video to watch. So a very nice experience from MetroTube actually, far better than I was expecting from a third party application. And this is a free application as well in the App Store. So really pleased to find something as good as this on the Surface 2. So that's it. That's my look at the sort of YouTube applications on both devices. I think they're both equally as good. In fact, I do like this one. It seems a lot more modern uh, and a lot more intuitive to use than the official YouTube app on the iPad Air. So I hope you've liked this video. If you have, please do hit that like button. There's gonna be plenty more in this particular series looking at these two devices, so please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss them. And I'll see you all in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.